Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good, family? Welcome to another edition of Doc's Motivational Minute. Hey, you know I'm not going to be here too long, but I shared a story last night on my Facebook Live, and I know some of you um, don't go to my Facebook Live, and I know I stream on YouTube as well. But those of you who missed it, I want to share a story with you again. So it was this little boy. It was two little boys, and I heard that they um, were playing on, on, on some ice. They were playing on some ice, and what happened was one of the little boys um, actually stepped on a weak part of the ice, and he actually fell through the ice. So when he fell through the ice, his friend, Little guy was trying to get him out the ice, but he couldn't pick him out the ice. And then the guy, the, the friend started drifting over. And so he was trying to hit the ice, hit the ice. The, the friend was holding his breath, trying to hit the ice from underneath. And so they couldn't do it. He couldn't break the ice. So he seen a tree that was right off the ice. He went over. He climbed this tree and was able to break this big piece of branch off the tree. He ran back over to where his friend was and he started chipping away at the ice, chipping away at the ice. He was able to break the ice. He was able to this time lift his friend out of the water and was able to save his friend's life. By the time the ambulance got there, they had to revive the little boy. So they revived the little boy. Little boy was fine. But everybody around, they were like, oh my God, how could this little kid run over, climb this tree, break off a big old branch, and have enough wherewithal to crack the ice and save his friend. An older gentleman who was listening to the conversation that everyone was having, he said, you want to know how the little boy did it? And everybody was very intended. They said, how did the little boy do it? He said the little boy was able to do it because no one was around to tell him that he couldn't do it. The little boy was able to break that ice, was able to climb that tree, was able to save his friend because no one was around to tell him that he couldn't. So in his mind, no one could tell him what wasn't possible. See, isn't that what happened to us? We got a lot of people around us who try to tell us what's not possible. And the bad part is this. We listen to them. Instead of knowing that this thing that we're able to do, that we're supposed to do, is placed in us to be able to get it done. Stop listening to your environment and start listening to what's inside of you to get it done. All right, y'all. You can live ordinary. You can live extraordinary. It's your choice. Peace.